Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus here again. And you know I'm probably here because I want to take a, a look at uh, the troubles that I have had to be confronted with between the last time I spoke and now. And it is constantly amazing about how corrupt uh, human beings are. And I say this, ladies and gentlemen, because I want to focus our attention together at this moment. You know, we have all grown up in a situation where we get exposed to all kinds of things, some good, some bad. We get exposed to truths and we get exposed to lies. None of us have escaped that. But I think it's been a time that I can't even remember when we have collectively all been exposed to the magnitude of lies that reached across the national borders for an extended period of time. Lies that we could all see as being lies. Liars who seem to have had no shame and still maintain these lies. Now we get a chance to see that these things do happen. We do get a chance to understand that these lies have effects on people's lies. Excuse me. These lies have effects on people's lives. And we must pay attention to this. Actually, we see right now where people are trying to utilize that method of lying to actually take over the government for the purpose of having the power to negotiate lifestyles and what people can and cannot do within this country and actually impose same kind of old control that slavery has always represented. And they are actually trying to do this publicly before our faces. This is what, and so I say to you, ladies and gentlemen, I say to you and I say it clearly, if you can see that there is something that is amongst us in our midst, truths and lies, or what you want to say, lies and half-truths. Lies and half-truths. Half-truths means that the rest of it are lies. And they are here because of the illegitimacy of the truths that have been at one time perhaps accepted but can become stagnant and lost any value that it ever had. So the only thing, the only justice that the future can hold for human beings in America and for human beings across the globe is this. Knowing that all of the resources that exist belong to somebody that we can't see or a power we can't see, in other words, not, not us. Sure, wherever we are, we have found some reason, some motivation, some justification to claim stuff as our own. And we have manipulated it in a very negative way. This is truth. All of us can acknowledge that. The evidence of it is the pain and suffering that is experienced across the globe. Not just in this country, but across the globe. We can all. Now, we might have all kind of different reasons about why it exists justified or not, the truth of the matter is that the only acceptable conclusion is that all of this pain and suffering dissipates, that it leaves. Now, how can that be achieved through any of the systems that have been put before us? It can't, or should I say it hasn't, indicating it can't, or it can, but for the same reasons it hasn't. So I say one of the main reasons that it has not happened is because it has never been the goal for it to happen. So I say to all of the people in the world, the masses are us, from the poorest of us to those who are struggling to get by. That's us. We're the masses. There are people who are getting by, but they're still hustling. But there are a few people who don't struggle to do anything. They're just riding on the backs of all the people on earth. They benefit from the lives of everybody on the face of the earth. <clears throat> and 
this is a system that has been established before we ever come upon this earth. And so to us, it's just a natural function. So my concern to the, us, ladies and gentlemen, is how long do we allow this to cause us this hell? I ask all of us, let's stop this. How do we stop this? By being fair. Giving us fairness. What do I mean by us? We the people. We in reality have the power. Now, they have control of that which have usurped what we really have. They got the money. They got the military. They will kill us. They will do all of these things that will deny your life. But the bottom line is, would you sacrifice your life continuously throughout living for this? If you will, if you will sacrifice your heaven just to exist, then this is what you will do. And what they're trying to do to you, as much as you're trying to fight it, they will succeed because that's what happens when you don't grow. Your goodness is just not good enough. My plea for the past 40 years is your goodness is not good enough. <clears throat> so let's guarantee certain things to not just Americans, but the whole human race. But since we only got a little control right now, let's stay in America. Guarantee to America basic human rights. That for which I'm advocacy for, spokesman for, for every American. That they got food, clothing, shelter, educate. Look, here it is. Here it is. Put it like this. The people coming to this world, coming to America, children that are born into America, let us guarantee that they don't just come here, but they are protected, that they have the, whatever is adequate to protect them, to promote the best kind of life, that they have education available to them so that they can start learning at the earliest stage, whatever is involved in learning and life and what's good and righteous. Straight up through the educational process, nothing causing them in the hangups because it's all free for them. Same thing is for health care. So they can live with their parents, grow with their parents, live with the community, grow with the community, do different things, learn different things, excited about different things, and have available to them various choices so that they can choose that which gives them their greatest joy. And the purpose of it is to utilize a gift in the process. So you're not just here. You're here to do something. And what are you here to do? To serve humanity as a representation from the power that we cannot see. And you are given a gift by that power that gives you your greatest joy when you exercise that gift, which makes it all worthwhile in your life and at the same time creating heaven. Now, that must be guaranteed for every American and every American that got any kind of decency in them must support it. Now, you might must support it. You might say, I don't know how to do that, but you must support it anyway and think about it and talk about it and discuss it. How do we do this and do it? There's nothing else but a bunch of junk. Anything less than that is a bunch of junk. It is no Christian nation. It is no heavenly nation. It is no nation worth a stink when you're leaving people out. And any nation where will leave people out, whether it's just the people who just say, well, I, can, I, I, I don't want it to happen, but I can't do nothing about it, so you accept it, all of that is a, a slap in God's face because God don't put up with trash. Here, let me say it one more time. God don't put up with trash. God don't put up with liars. God don't put up with cheaters. That shouldn't happen to happen because there's a plant, a blueprint set there for peace and prosperity and freedom and joy of life and the fulfillment of your dreams, your needs, your wants, your desires, all met. And it's a joy. No lying, no cheating, no stealing, no killing, no terror, no racism, no hatred, no war. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. <laughs> I know you can see that. Talk to you later.